So we're here today to talk about how to get super sexy, smooth skin. And I know that this is more of a summer topic normally, but I feel like in the winter our skin suffers and you tend to kind of neglect your skin a little bit and just not really bother to make sure that you're nice and pampered. But it's still really important and it gives you a huge kind of boost of confidence to have soft, silky, smooth, lovely skin. So the first thing that you wanna do is body brushing. I'm not gonna talk about this too much because I talk about this all the time, but just give it an honorary mention, it smooths your skin out like crazy. The next thing is hair removal, and this is a very interesting little subject, but I definitely, definitely have to be hair free. I kind of am a little bit OCD about it, no offence to the kind of OCD, I know if you say OCD people get offended, I don't mean it in that way, I just mean I am a little bit pedantic about it. And it's something that I really like to do all the time, so I like to be totally smooth and I shave under my arms and use laser, I epilate my legs and I wax my bikini area and I've recently started using this Gigi Brazilian Bikini Wax. It's filthy, don't mind how it looks, it was just, it's messy, hard wax, but this is amazing. At Absolutely, hands down, the best wax I've ever tried. After buying one from Superdrug, which was absolutely terrible, their warm wax treatment, don't buy that. It's a really, really terrible product. But this is amazing, so amazing that I would do a video about it if you wanted me to. If you wanted me to do a video just about this, talking about it and how I've used it, how we can use it with strips, it's amazing. It's just the best I've ever used. Absolutely love this can't get enough of it. So I will give myself a Brazilian wax with this and it's amazing and you kind of feel totally hair free. Make sure my brows and everything are tidy by not letting them ever grow too much. So what I do is I tend to just kind of let them, um, a couple of hairs and then I'll get them. I don't ever let them grow too, grow out too much to then have to do a massive job because I just kind of feel a little bit ungroomed. Then in terms of getting my skin really, really smooth, there are a couple of things that I swear by. Using body scrubs is very important and I'll use these twice a week and then the rest of the time I'll just use a, um, ex a pair of exfoliating gloves in the shower every night. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything and it makes it just feel very, very smooth. My two favourite body scrubs at the moment are the Aromatherapy Associates Polishing Natural Exfoliating Scrub, which looks like this. This is really, really lovely. It kind of smells a bit weird, but it really does leave your skin feeling soft. And then the St. Grapes Aqua Bliss Bath Scrub which looks like this. I'll get it out just to show you. This is a salt scrub as well, so it's very um, exfoliating and it really leaves your skin feeling nice and very clean and like there's kind of no, there's no dry skin at all, it's just really nice and I definitely recommend incorporating a body scrub into your routine if you don't already do it because it really does make a difference and it just makes your skin look and feel that much more radiant. I can always tell when someone's kind of got their legs out for example and they don't use a body scrub because it just doesn't ever look the same, it's very very important. So that's that. And then in terms of moisturising, moisturising is absolutely key and you need to do it kind of regularly. I always moisturise in the morning when I get out of the shower and I'll use whatever body lotion really, but I'm using the Vaseline one at the moment and this is one I always, always go back to, the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant one. I use loads of the Vaseline ones, any of them are good, but they've really moisturised your skin, not sticky, you can get dressed straight away. I know they've released these spray ones at the moment, but I don't mind rubbing in lotion, I like it, it's not something I'd ever want to skip anyway so they're really lovely and then in the evening time I have a shower in the evening time as well and um, if you want to use something a little bit more moisturizing and you really want to get your skin feeling smooth oils are fantastic this one right here I love and it's the Caudalie um, Divine Oil now you can use this on your face and your hair and your body the packaging is just beautiful it smells gorgeous it's got this lovely kind of gold pump and the lovely wooden lid it's just beautiful a beautiful beautiful product i'm trying out a bunch of cordially stuff at the moment and i love all of them but this is just fantastic lovely and really really leaves a nice sheen on your skin and it's not too oily and then another very um cheap option is the vaseline coco radiant vitalizing body gel oil this is a strange product because my friend had a really bad reaction with this and she thought it was the mineral oil. It isn't really the mineral oil that will do this, it's just using it at the wrong time. So she used it in the daytime and if you're kind of dressed and you've got deodorant on and you're wearing a bra and it's kind of all suffocated, it's very thick so it will kind of clog your pores up. If you use it at night it doesn't do that and it's great if you're sunbathing or that kind of thing, providing you've got sunscreen on as well because it gives a lovely sheen and it smells delicious. It just 
smells like vanilla and it gives your skin this beautiful kind of glowy sheen and it's very very moisturizing and really does look, leave your skin looking lovely but just be aware that it does have mineral oil in it if you're sensitive to that i don't mind it and then last but not least um is body butters now these are fantastic again for getting your skin feeling really smooth and really really soft this one is the soap and glory butter yourself um body butter i love this i'm not too keen on the smell the smell i wanted to say scent and then smell and it got mixed up the smell of this is a bit weird um, it's not my favorite soap and glory scent but i can deal with it because it does make your skin feel really soft and then another one that i do happen to love the smell of is the nip and fab pistachio sunday this just smells beautiful. Mm, you just want to like lie in it. It just smells gorgeous and sweet and pistachio-esque and just lovely. So I really, really, really recommend this. It's lovely. And I've just said lovely like 12 times. And then the last thing is to not neglect your feet. So, oh, and the last thing that would be good would to not be not to throw all the products on the floor as well. So yes, I've had a really stressful day, don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, the last thing would do to not, like, not neglect your feet. So what I like to do is to keep a body butter, something really moisturizing like the Body Shop one. I'm not using this Body Shop one, I'm actually using the Brazil Nut one at the moment. I keep that by my bed and just smooth it all over my feet so they're always nice and pampered. And it really does, I know it sounds like it's a lot of effort, but it's not. It's just an extra five minutes in the morning, an extra five minutes in the evening for you to really get smooth, lovely skin. Obviously, you don't have to do it. It's if you want to do it, and if it's important to you, it might not be, but it is something that really, really makes a difference, and your skin will feel and look sexy and amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.